Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did these poly gel nails. Um, it kind of turned out like a fail, but it kind of didn't. I don't really know how I feel about them. I never realized how hard poly gel was to work with. So yeah, you're going to kind of see me struggling the whole video, but they came out pretty cute. I mean, I think they're okay, but yeah, let's get started. Hey you guys, so I'm going to start off by showing you guys the package. This is from Bella Vina, I believe. Dallas from Double Dip Nails. Um, everything I use in the video is going to be linked down below. I'm open, opening it up here for the first time ever and I've never done poly gel before so this was completely new to me. I had no idea what to expect and if I'm going to be honest with you, before even doing this video, I watched like two videos on how to do poly gel um and I really didn't know what to expect or like what the consistency was going to be like it comes with this little like note thing to show you how to do it but I just honestly threw that to the side because I don't want to use the dual forms so it comes with a few different colors um I'm basically just showing you guys here and then I'm going to be swatching them and then it came with a base coat and then the top coat and then it comes with this thing I didn't know if that was the slip solution so I ended up using the base coat as my slip solution because I saw in a video that I watched that you can use base coat or even alcohol which is really cool so maybe next time I'll try it with alcohol and see how it is but it also came with some glitters it came with a little gel brush which is what I end up using and then it just came with um like I said the dual forms it comes with a little lamp it was kind of um like not dusty but kind of just because of the packaging so it also came with this and I do want to try to use some of this stuff just to see how I can like encapsulate things with poly gel. If you know how to do poly gel really well feel free to leave any suggestions down below and if you guys see my hands a lot in this video and I'm wearing like a weird little like thing it's literally just my robe. I was wearing my robe while I was filming this and like doing my my nails or whatever but I am going to be doing the same method that I, I did on one of my recent videos the cuticle oil and top coat method someone had requested that I show them how to remove them and I'm going to show you guys in that video in this video today so I'm showing you guys the colors now so one thing that I noticed when I swatched them is that they looked really pigmented but like when I started using them they didn't look as pigmented which was kind of weird I don't know if that goes for all poly gel you guys can let me know let me know down below or maybe it just depends on the brand so then there's this like light pink color and then there's gonna be I think there's a total of five colors if I'm not mistaken I don't remember how many colors exactly so there's this cool glitter one I don't end up using that glitter one just because I wanted to kind of go in with the teal colors so I'm just gonna let you guys see the swatches Okay, you guys so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my cuticle oil I made this one myself and I'm gonna be going in on every single one of my fingers and I was gonna use my finger to blend it in but I didn't want that hand to get super oily so I grabbed an old brush that I had and I just went ahead and kind of blended it in with that and that worked really well because the oil didn't get like all over my other hand which was really cool so I am gonna be doing this um in my last the like the last video that I did this in if you were if you watched the whole thing then you saw that it was kind of popping off a little bit I didn't want it that to happen again with these nails and it didn't end up happening which was super cool so I did everything correctly this time what I am doing is I'm just grabbing my nail tips these are the extra 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 long nail tips by Zule's Zule's nail shop and they're the C curve and what I'm doing is I'm going to grab my top coat and I'm going to put a layer on one thing I will say was that this top coat was super, super weird. As you can see, it like wasn't applying correctly and that isn't because of the oil. Because I use that oil, I use like the same oil all the time and I always do the top coat method with it and the top coats never react like this. So this was super weird. I've never had it happen. I literally had to put on like a good three layers of top coat for it to fully cover the nail because it kept separating which was honestly just weird. I think the oil combination with this specific top coat didn't really work out. Yeah, see, I'm showing you guys right there how it just looks weird. So I'm going to go in with a few more layers of that. So now um, I'm showing you guys what the nails should look like after. So 
pretty shiny and I did end up doing like two or three coats if you're gonna use a regular like really good top coat you can do like two coats and you'll be good um another thing that I was really struggling with which was super weird with this top coat was that the nail tip wasn't sticky you could see here it like wasn't sticking and it was just coming off it was so weird and this top coat didn't have a sticky layer so I do end up going in and trying to wipe it with alcohol just in case but like it was super weird because the nail wasn't sticky like the top coat wasn't sticky at all and I do cure after every single top coat layer so that was pretty weird what I ended up doing was putting the nail tip on as well and grabbing some of my hurry up nail glue dryer and spraying it on the nail with the KDS nail glue already on there I don't know if that makes sense so basically like I did this and then I sprayed it on really quick like away from the camera and that really helps um because hurry up nail glue dryer can dry any type of like resin that doesn't need to be um dried with a uv or led lamp so that was pretty cool because it actually worked and it dried the glue on contact you could see there that's after i did it and the nail stayed so i just ended up doing that for all of my nails because the top coat wasn't allowing the nail to stick it was super weird and i tried cleaning it with alcohol and that didn't work so yeah Okay, you guys, so I'm going to be grabbing a brand new pair of these little nail tip cutters. And I got this from Amazon. I'll be linking it down below just in case you're interested. I liked it because it came with a little like replacement blade, which was super cool. And I'm going to be cutting the nail tips down pretty short because the first thing that I noticed was that the polygel bottles are super small. And I was like thinking to myself, what if this isn't enough for like a full nail? Like, a full set of nails, you know? Like, what if I wanted to use the teal for, like, every nail? Like, I didn't have enough for that. So, that was the one thing that I definitely definitely didn't like. But I do also understand that polygel maybe isn't meant for longer nails as much as it is for short nails, if that makes sense. I mean, I can understand why polygel would probably work better on a short set or, like, an overlay or something on your natural nail. So, I did keep that in consideration. So, I just kept the nails pretty short, much shorter than I would usually do. So right here I'm just going to grab my base coat gel, the one that came in the kit, and I'm going to be dumping some on a little like lid thing. You guys might see it in a bit. Yeah, right there. So I'm going to be putting some right there on top, and then I'm just going to be making sure that I have enough so I can use it as a slip solution. So I know for poly gel you're supposed to definitely pat, 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 like don't drag. I know that because I watched like two videos and that's what they kept saying, but it was so hard not to drag it like... It's honestly super fun to play around with, but like so annoying at the same time, if that makes sense. Just because it's so hard to be like acrylic is like 10,000 times easier to work with. So this is super difficult, but I just really have always wanted to try it. So I was super happy about that. And I'm sorry for being out of frame. I'm going to move back into frame in just a few seconds. But yeah, so basically I was like trying to drag it and I like liked how it was dragging. But also, I don't know if it was like my room or if it was this type of poly gel, but it was really, really runny. Like if I kept my nail like facing downwards, it would have, or like upwards, I guess you could say, it was like flooding into my cuticle area. So I think this one floods and I have to go back and clean it before I cure it. But I do end up liking it. But as you can see, the color is really, really thin and like clear. So I don't know if all poly gels are supposed to be like that. I really have no idea and what's even weirder is after I cure it it literally turns even lighter so it doesn't even stay this like teal which sucks so I really didn't like that but that's fine and then I'm gonna be cleaning my brush off I have a tiny little lint free pad on the side with like covered in alcohol so that I can use it to wipe my brush whenever I need to to get some of that sticky stuff off and then right here I just poured some acetone in a little dish with one of my favorite little cleanup brushes I get these from Aliexpress and I'm cleaning all around my cuticle before I cure it because I didn't want the poly gel to cure all over my cuticle area. So yeah, that's what I'm doing there. 
Okay, you guys, so I do end up grabbing this little wheel that it comes with and taking some of the stars just because I really wanted to use them on the set and see how they would like cure and stuff. And I wanted to see if I can encapsulate it. Um, but shortly after, I realized that I didn't even have a clear for that. It didn't come with a clear poly gel. So I think I ended up trying to cover it with like a different color. But as you can see, it's super weird. Like the ombre or like not the ombre look like this looks like an ombre, right? And it would look so pretty if the colors were actually these colors, but they both, like, it's the same color. And they it cured super light. So, I don't know. I have a feeling po most poly gels probably do this. I really have no idea. But, um, I kind of wish I ended up using that little, like, what is it? Like, the confetti poly gel that I showed you guys in the swatches. Because I feel like that clear one would have been good to, like, encapsulate because it's, like, clear but with glitter in it, maybe. But I did save that one and I didn't like use it at all except for swatching. And that's because I've been saving stuff little by little because I want to put stuff into a big giveaway for you guys. And I've been hinting at a giveaway for a while now. If you watch every single one of my videos then you'll know. Randomly I'll just bring it up. I have a whole box. I have like th two or three boxes of stuff literally collecting sitting right behind me right now full of things that I want to give out in a giveaway. So it's coming very very soon. I'm just getting as much stuff as I can so that I can choose a lot of winners instead of like one winner only um anyways so right here I'm just taking some of the glitter that came in the kit and I'm gonna be placing it all over the nail as you can see like the nail started getting really thick towards the tip and I think that was because I was dragging like for sure it was because I was dragging it so that kind of sucked and this nail is the nail that comes out the worst from like the whole set because it was like my first ever time like trying it out but you guys will see the other nails do come out a little bit better. So then I go in with this like clear pink because my theory was, okay, if that color dried that clear, then this pink is probably not this opaque. It's probably going to dry more clear, which was kind of true. So yeah, it kind of worked. But as you could see, I was getting so impatient and I was dragging it. And that's like the worst thing ever because it was just making a mess and it was getting kind of annoying to be honest. And I was getting frustrated because it's like so difficult. Okay, you guys, so right here, when I was just about to cure the pink nail, I decided that I wanted to add on some of these really cute little stars. So I did put it straight onto the poly gel just because I feel like the poly gel will hold it pretty well, especially if I kind of like stick them in there so that the poly gel's surrounding it, if that makes sense. Um, I just wanted to say really quickly that I do have another haul coming really soon. I got some stuff from Sky Beads, Zule's Nail Shop, and iGel Beauty. And I'm going to be doing a little haul, probably either like into like put it, put the haul into another video or I'll just do a little haul video on its own. And then I remember I had told you guys, I think I told you guys that I had another AliExpress haul, but I'm not sure. But I'm waiting for the stuff, all the stuff to arrive. I haven't checked my mail in like two days, so there might be already stuff in there, but I'm really not sure. So anyways, I'm going in with the teal color on my ring finger and then I'm 
trying my best to like do better application than the first nail I was like trying so hard to tell myself okay don't drag don't drag but like I kept dragging it but I do definitely think that these like three nails turned out way better than that pointer finger did and what I noticed after two is like poly gel is really easy to file it's like way softer and easier to like smooth out I guess Okay, you guys so now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be grabbing my lint free wipe with alcohol and I'm gonna be making sure that I wipe off the sticky layer really 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 well and I'm also gonna be making sure to clean the bottoms just because poly gel ran over to the bottom of my nails so I did make sure to go ahead and clean that as well and I'm gonna be taking my nail file and I'm gonna be filing up these nails trying to smooth them out and make them as even as I possibly can what I'm doing here is I'm just holding the file as straight as possible on top and on the side so as you can see I like using the nail file for the top just because it makes everything one even smooth like I guess you could say like base of the nail I don't know I don't know what that's called but I like doing that and then I'm taking the sides and I'm just making sure to really really sharpen them up as much as I can the key to getting a good shape is to make sure that you're holding your file as straight as possible not rounding out your corners which could be kind of hard especially if you're filing on yourself but trust me it's so much easier if you're filing on someone else so if you have anyone that you can practice on it'll help you like so so much if you do nails you probably already know that but yeah it's so hard to like file on myself and try to stay in frame as best as I can so what I'm doing is just going in and trying to file the sides I noticed that these nails were looking pretty I don't know if it was just weird to me because they were like short and I've never done my nails short like this like in a while I haven't done them like this in a while basically so I try to get the best shape that I possibly could and I'm really trying to fix them but that pointer finger was literally getting me so mad like it wasn't straining out as much as I wanted it to and then also because these nail, nail tips are c-curved I think the poly gel more it like made the poly gel run off to the sides more but I know that you could use like the dual forms and stuff too and I know there's like the lazy girl method I think it's called from oh my gosh I just had a brain fart from Femi Beauty and I love her freaking videos like I love watching her videos because her designs are always so cute the two videos that I watched to try and see how to like use poly gel was Femi Beauty and Vanity Val I love her channel so much I already saw I already like watched all her videos in just a few days because ever since I found her channel like one of her videos came up on my recommended and I literally watched every single one because I think she's so cute and her nails are always so bomb so love that and yeah so those are the two videos I watched so that's when I kind of realized like okay you can kind of do like whatever you want with poly gel sort of so I didn't really follow any rules or use the dual forms or anything I kind of just went for it and tried to shape it myself that's probably why it was so difficult to be honest so now what I'm doing is I'm taking another lint-free wipe and I'm going to be wiping all of the nails with some more alcohol, making sure that I get all the dust off. 
My favorite, favorite way to do this, if you already watched my videos, is to use a manicure brush with alcohol on it because it gets really in there. Like, it gets in every crevice and the nails come out super clean. Or you could also, like, wash your hands and stuff. But, like, if you're in, like, a pinch and you just want to do it in that moment, the alcohol with a manicure brush works really well. And manicure, manicure brushes are amazing because you can sanitize and disinfect them. And I saw, like, a TikTok video that using a dust brush is actually really bad if you're using it on clients because they can't properly be disinfected or sanitized and I had never thought about that and that's totally true I guess if you think about it I would disinfect mine with alcohol but I'm not really sure what's like the truth leave a comment down below if you know but yeah so I think a manicure brush is like a super amazing alternative to getting dust off because it'll really get in there it's really amazing love them and they're so cheap so I'm taking that same top coat and I was hoping that it wasn't gonna like separate or anything and I think it was like doing okay. It was doing decently well on top of the nails. I don't know why it was acting weird when I did the cuticle oil part. But it was okay um, on top of this set. And as you can see, they look pretty cute. Like they're honestly pretty decent. First time ever touching poly gel. Never done it in my entire life. So I was okay. I was kind of happy with them. And then I'm going to be taking my little cuticle oil again. And I'm going to be doing that using it on all of my cuticles just because they're so super duper crusty and something about the cuticle oil on top coat method that a lot of people don't realize is like when you're doing it that your cuticles can get crusty because you have like a layer of top coat underneath the nails so this is what they turned out like they're so freaking cute honestly I really really liked them but I don't like how I got poly gel all underneath because you can see it because the poly gel is so clear so what I'm doing now is I'm literally just going to wipe off all the nails and I'm going to show you guys how I literally just pop them off. So right here I'm kind of like loosening loosening them up. You could see right there that one came off in like one second. So I'm showing you guys after adding some more cuticle oil it literally looks good as new. I have some top coat left on there which is good because the top coat is what protects your nail so that the acrylic or the poly gel or whatever you're using sticks to the, to the top coat instead of to your real nail. So you're not ripping any layers of skin off. If you use base coat, then yes, it'll rip some of your like layers off because I've used base coat with the cuticle oil and the base coat still sticks super, super bad. So if you don't want your nails to stay, use top coat. And this is how they look. Some of the poly gel was kind of stuck on my cuticles, but as you can see, there is like no damage. I oiled them up a little bit and then I wiped them off just to get any excess oil and as you can see they look super super good and it was literally painless I'm super sensitive on my nails and it, they were like painless I didn't feel it at all and as you can see I popped them off super quick they look just good as new those ridges were already there because I'm super rough on my nails but yeah you guys that was it and I hope you guys liked it have a great day don't forget to subscribe bye